five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. this way now uh, because uh, the reason we do it this way is uh, that uh, uh, you didn't like me rolling over well yeah uh, anyway so I don't use that no you don't use that anymore you just talk here and people will hear you hi yeah this is uh, it's Friday in case you haven't tuned in before this is uh, the one and only this is my ball and chain you better believe it huh I never see her much though anymore no, I'm working hard. What do you mean? Just working. You're, I never see you when you're hours here. Nine in my office. When you're well, here. Well, I don't care. I come home. I don't want to. Ve- I just want to vegetate. Yeah, yeah. Well, you do. That's for damn sure. And she watches one binge watching show after another. You and don't even know which is, one is which does anymore. Does it matter? Yes, it does. Well, you could take time out to read. I am reading. I'm almost finished the book. Really? Yeah. When, when do you have time to read? I read on uh, in the car going down. I read when I have my coffee. I read on the bus going home. Yeah. I'm looking for some, uh, uh, there we go, an ibuprofen here. Uh, this is because I my uh, neck is hurting me. So I have to do it. Is Whatever. That, is that Whatever it? floats your boat. Wait, that's not, let me take a Tylenol instead here. Uh, no, my neck has been my neck has been hurting me lately. I think it's another form of cancer. I think I have two kinds of cancer. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, um, so how are you? Tired. Have I told you lately that I love you? No. <laughs> so there. Well, there's a reason why I haven't because you're so busy. Well, we're moving. Uh, well, Moving is very stressful. No, we're not moving. My office is moving, and it's very stressful. Okay, so uh, but anyway, I I I don't I can't talk to you because anytime I talk to you and you're watching one of these endless, oh come on, Alex, you go enough. shh. Yeah, well, I come in here. Don't disturb me. Oh, you you no, fucked no, up. No, you, no, I was no, no, I lost my concentration. All right, let, let me. Can I explain? No. That? Can I explain? No. That? No, you won't let me explain it. Who cares? So that you will understand it. I lost my concentration. Get out of here. No, I'm posting these shows. And when I'm posting the shows, I have to pay attention to it because it's it's just like a... It's like... Uh, it, it's... Uh, what do they call Repetitive work. And so I if I th- get thrown out of repetition, I forget where I was, and then I don't know where to pick up again. And that's why I tell you, wait a minute. Or if somehow there's a big tragedy going on. Do you know I didn't listen to the news tonight and it felt great? Really? Yeah. I'm uh, going to start doing that every well, day. Well, you didn't see then that uh, that uh, Trump uh, resigned. No, and I don't give okay. a shit. <laughs> and that, I don't care. And, and Pence said, well, if he's going, I'm going. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, you know, uh, it's pr- pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good all the way around. Uh, anyway, so, I, I, no, but what I was saying is that uh, uh, I, I, I very rarely am able to say anything to you because you're too busy watching. And something. you're too busy losing your but concentration. Not, not like, for instance, let me tell you, like... What, Alex, come on. Uh, okay, just stop no, it. No, just talk about uh, something else. No, well, I'm, I'm talking about why I sometimes uh, go, I got, don't, don't interrupt me right now. It's because I'm in the middle of trying to fix something. It's every day. Every day there is something to fix here. So don't blame me when I want to come home and vegetate. Yeah, well, I mean, I just, I just, I, you know, my latest thing is the uh, server up in Canada. Alex, I don't want to hear about your IT stuff. It's no, so this boring. Is, this and you know something? Your listeners don't want to hear about it well, either. Well, I'm, I'm not talking about the IT here. I'm talking about something everybody out there has gone through. And that is you have to deal with somebody... Uh, at oh Final yeah one. well you, you okay then I don't want to hear about you moving you don't because I don't tell you all the stuff well you should and well, I would listen very <laughs> intently and you don't, you and don't give and a fuck what you don't give a fuck boy this is you are so contentious tonight well, it's true you can don't this, care can this marriage be saved no 
<laughs> huh? <laughs> anyway, no, he, but he, well, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I had to today deal with the, these people who run the server up in Canada. And all the stuff you see, like the on-demand and stuff, I have a fi- files up there that refer to that. Well, somehow, without telling me, <clears throat> they changed the way you sign in. So I have had to call mm. them. And I called them today. Do you know how many times I had to call them? Three times until I got somebody who spoke a modicum of English. Everybody else I talked to, it was like they didn't understand what I was saying. Do, do I sound like I have... Excuse me. <laughs> what kind of look is she giving me? Um, you do it in your elbow right there. Why, then I get snot in my arm. Yeah, but it doesn't no. spread. Anyway, uh, it, it's like I was so, I, it was so amazing, that, and you've had to deal with this, where you talk to somebody at some kind of like either technical support or... In India. Or, or if you like, well, Amazon's pretty good. I don't think they. It, no, because you have a telephone number for Amazon, and it's great. I love that. Well, number. you have a te- you have no you you give them your telephone. No, number, there is a tele- say- No, no, there is a telephone oh. number. Then they send a code just to make sure that you're a real person. But they you get right to a real person. Yeah, but person. you can also you can also go online. You have your phone number That's in bullshit. there. Wait it's a minute, just and you just call. say call me, and the next thing you know, your phone is ringing. It's better to just call. What do you mean? I get on just as fast anyway. Mm. Well, anyways, so you the one thing about Amazon is, did you ever have to talk to somebody who didn't understand what you were saying? Yes, when some oh. people in India. Oh, really? For yeah. for Amazon? Not for Amazon. No, I'm not. For I'm Amazon. talking about Amazon. No, Amazon's good. Amazon's good that way. But this company, I don't know where they're outsourcing. It's like to Thailand or something because they did not understand a word I was saying. And so I had to call again. And then what happened when I called again, I got the same person. <laughs> He asked for the supervisor. They, so, put, they put the microphone right into the. So then next I them. called again, and I got somebody who sounded like the guy I was talking to. And I said to him, "Have I talked to you yet today?" And he went, "No." <laughs> and I said, "So I ex- tried to explain to him, it they 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 did things like change the way I signed in, so I couldn't sign in, and they didn't they didn't write me any letters or send me any emails telling me they were changing that." I went, oh, well, that's nice. Why didn't you tell me that? And I know this company before got really pesty. Whenever you would deal with them, they would send you a note afterwards. Where is it? Were you satisfied with our service? And hey, here's what we discussed, you know, and blah, blah, blah. I didn't even get those anymore. It's like there's no service at all. And they were taken over by a new company who sent out an email saying, we're out to give you better service than you've ever gotten before. <laughs> So I had to deal with that last night and today, and but I've gotten everything. Okay. You know, got everything working, kind of, you know. Uh, but uh, this is, uh, let me see, are we on? Yeah, we're on. Uh, I just want to make sure that we're, we're on. We're on. Here, I'll move over here just a little bit. Then you can be more of you in the, in the, in the camera. Yeah. Anyway, so um, uh, so tell me about work. No, it's just... Tell me, how is it? It's not. It's a lot of work right now, well, Alex. Well, okay. It's very stressful, and I don't want to talk about it. Well, and then... But don't It's you, a move, okay? But you're not, you're not physically moving the furniture yourself. No, but yourself. I'm in charge of the whole thing, and some of the stuff's going to storage, some of the stuff we're giving away, some of the stuff we need. What are it's, you giving away? Desk and chairs. And I, we don't need any more of those. Do no, we we no. have all the desks. All the and desks chairs. and chairs we need. Well, the, this desk, which will last longer than I will. Teresa took one. She took yeah. a six footer. Yeah. We yeah. have a five footer. I wish you could see these folks, but these are they're you beautiful. Know, they're, they're beautiful and they're chrome they're, legs. And they will they're last. Not, they're, they'll last. If they'll, I, if you want them when I die, you can have them, and they'll probably last your lifetime. Yeah. You know. And I'm, I'm taking three with us, and we and Teresa took one that's four, so there's two more. <laughs> the only place we could have put it was over here, but uh, that's fine where that yeah, is. Yeah, it's fine. You know, I don't want to have to lift that TV set up. That's a heavy TV set. Every every time we buy a new TV set, it's, it's, lighter. it's lighter than the one before. I mean, this one you lifted right out. Well, the TCL we bought at, uh, at Costco. Costco. You we, lifted we both, right we out. We both lifted it up and take it, took it upstairs, and then we took Held, took it out of the box, and, and yeah, it was fine. there you go. Yeah, so I mean that was that was really fine. 
But uh, so uh, so anyway, so you're stressed. I'm stressed. Oh well, I'm, I'm tired. so sorry to hear that, dear. Is there anything I can do to help your stress? Yeah, just stop talking. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I got to do a show here. I can't do that. <laughs> oh. And well, it's quarter after. Yeah. Well. Got 15 more minutes to talk to each <laughs> and other. And those 15 more minutes. So you haven't been paying attention to the news. Not tonight. Not tonight, but you haven't been paying attention. Well, I, I, I watched Morning Joe, and then I watched your show. The president was at the border today, right? For his wall that he said he built. No, for that the, for the wall that 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 Obama well, no, fixed. No, but but he's saying that he is it? It's it's being finished on his watch, but it was started by Obama. And it's a it's a fix. It's, it's a fixer not, upper. Yeah, it's not a brand new thing. The problem is that the lies become truths so when you say it enough times. Well, let's say uh, the old Hitler. Yeah, it's uh, true. Say it enough. The, uh, the if, if you lie enough about a certain thing, you keep saying something over and over People again. People will believe it. People will believe it. Yeah. Like, he did that with Hillary. You know, he kept calling her a crook. and Lock her up. Lock her up. And they're up. still saying that. Yeah, yeah. And they don't even know who her is anymore, you know. So, I mean, it's really, it's disgusting. I, I just, it's vile. I hate, I hate it right now. You hate what? The kind of this country where it's going. It's, yeah. It's yeah. Not good. Yeah, but we we can opt out, you know, emotionally. Well, opting out in 2023 sounds like a bad, great idea. I've been having to live with this for the longest time. Uh, she has been arguing, or yeah, it's saying she's dying in 2000. January 2023. There was an actual date, but I forgot yeah, it. Yeah, well, because she listened to Larry Bubbles Brown with me one day, and Larry said there was a site you could go to. And as they were talking, I'm writing all this down and yeah. going on and the site. And they had to put in what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a few questions. I can't remember. Health factors? I can't remember. Yeah. And then it gives you the date that you're going to die. So mine's January 2023, and the way this world is going, it's not a bad goal. Well, I just, I think that, uh, yeah, that's nice to know when you're going to die. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's... It's a nice goal. You'll be how old? I don't know. I'll be up there. You're, you're, you're... No, no, no. You're 87 Alex, now, uh, right? <laughs> yeah. You're 87 Oh, Jack now. came home. Oh, Jack came yeah, home? Yeah, Really? And is he... Doing better? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't. Our friend Jack Garfine. He's uh, been in the hospital almost three well, weeks. He's he's eighty eight years old, and so uh, anything that happens to him. Well, get, this last round I think was kidney stones. Yeah, but it was caused by a medicine they were giving. Something, him. yeah. So finally, they got the kidneys working and all. I'll text her before I go to sleep. Yeah, but uh, it it's her is Jack's girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going to see her Sunday instead of Saturday because i got too many errands to do. Oh, really? I have not been down to my cleaners since I broke my knee, and that's at the end of and November. This, wait, wait and minute. I have a wait, wait basket. Minute. And this is more interesting than Tech Talk? <laughs> I'm taking my clothes to the cleaners? Yes. I, when's the last time I ever took clothes to the cleaners? I think you took some for me one day because you wanted to get them cleaned. Or, yeah, or fix a hole or whatever. Yeah, but I, I don't think I've been to the cleaners in years. Yeah, well, I work. I have to have nice, some, you know. How much is dry cleaning I have days? no idea, because I do it in such a big bundle. It's always a couple hundred dollars. Oh, really? <laughs> well, it's my winter coats and my this and that and sweaters. And I've got such a bundle, because, and I have stuff down there from last summer. Because I haven't been really? there since November. Really? Yeah. Oh. Son of a bitch. So my friend's going to drive me down on Saturday. That's not fun. Teresa's going to take me down. Okay, well, so you have to go. You have to go do your my laundry. Your laundry after the gym. Okay, this is this is <laughs> exciting, folks. Aren't you glad you tuned in? My big in? day on Saturday. I could be sitting here talking about something, but you know, I'm, we're, we're we're talking about that. Ten twenty. By the way, just saying. Uh, right, here are a couple items okay. I didn't get to uh, last night. Uh, one is. That Woody Allen, sabotaged. Amazon is saying that uh, Woody Allen sabotaged his films. I thought they cut him out. This is what, they, well, they did. They said tensions are running high between Amazon and Woody Allen, with Amazon saying the legendary director sabotaged his own films with his Me Too comments. 
his Me Too comments. Yeah. What did he say? Well, I mean, he was simply uh, talking about Me Too in reference to all the things well, he th was being I think it was of. his, what's his son's name? The one that looks like Frank Sinatra? Ronan. Ronan. Yeah. Uh, in response to, this, to a $68 million breach of contract legal action filed by Allen over the disillusion of his pact with Amazon, Amazon says Allen's own comments were to blame for the failure of his mute movies justifying the cancellation of the multi-picture deal. I don't know how that justifies it. I thought it was Amazon that cut it, him isn't, out. Isn't, isn't, no, what he's saying is, what they're saying is they cut him out because... Because of things that he's saying on the Me Too. Because of all of that. Well, you know something? I'm sorry, that's buyer's remorse, <laughs> you know? And, uh, but uh, it, it, in legal documents filed in the Southern District of New York, Amazon cited Allen's response to his son Ronan Farrow's landmark New Yorker article about allegations of sexual misconduct against Harvey Weinstein, in which Allen was quoted as saying, the whole Harvey Weinstein thing is very sad for everybody involved. Tragic for the poor women that were involved and sad for Harvey that his life is so messed up. He was also quoted as warning against a witch hunt atmosphere where every guy in an office who winks at a woman is suddenly it's having true. to call a lawyer to defend it's himself. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's, it's more than true. I'm beginning to think that at this point... The point is you, uh, some, putting so, your hand on somebody's shoulder and a rape are quite different. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's gotten down to that. Right. Excuse me, folks. I, I still have a cold. Well, just do it in that direction. Huh? Do it in that direction. In that Thank direction. You. Wait a minute. Let me do this. I need to do something so that my... I don't uh, 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 freeze up. Anyway. Anyway, so uh, uh, all I'm saying is that uh, I think there's a, an assault against men now. And I think it's, it's grossly unfair. I mean, look, guys who engaged in that kind of behavior years ago because it was considered okay, it was considered all right, still, even though it was considered all right, should have known better, because I did. You know, I always treated, I never treated women in any other way than with respect. And I guess that's because my father taught me to do that. But uh, you can't blame a guy for just thinking, oh, hey, it's okay to do this or it's okay to do that because the norm was that. Now, if you want to say from this day forward, if you do this kind of behavior, it's wrong. I mean, like Joe Biden said, well, I've learned, you know, I've learned that this is now not changed. acceptable yeah. and I will never in engage in anything that remotely seem that way. Uh, but all these women that are going after Biden, all of them said, well, it was non-sexual, but he made me feel uncomfortable. You know, now making you feel uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> and look at Trump. He wants to grab her by the pussy. Yeah, I mean, and, Trump, and that's okay. Trump makes me feel uncomfortable, but I don't think I can sue him for that. I, I just think that it's time maybe guys started standing up against this, like with a not me movement or something. <laughs> you know, no, really, I'm serious because I think it's time that they were able to say uh, that, uh, you know, that, that, uh, uh, we're not going to be accused of stuff and then have everybody believe it's true. So without take the for, lead. It'll give you a, a, a mission. You know what the problem is? I, I don't think there are any women out there that found that I engaged in that kind of behavior. But if I did and I were still well-known enough and somebody wanted to come after me with that, I think I would attack back. Why don't you attack back now for them? Well, I mean, I'm, I am. I'm saying it right now, you know. But wh where do I, was I hear something? Oh, maybe it's out, maybe it's, we have a lot of noises in our neighborhood. That was like a wind noise. Do you ever hear the noises in our neighborhood when you're sleeping? Do I sleep with earbuds? Y yeah. The, it, <laughs> We're on 116th Street, so every fire truck, every police, every yeah. emergency, and then, then ambulance. Oh, then, then we get to like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, the drunks are leaving the bars, and they're yelling oh, at the top of the Oh, it was worse down on Houston Street. Oh, we oh. had a bar right under. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what I did. Did I tell you what I did? There? You I told threw you. something? Yeah, well, here's what happened. Uh, we had this bar kind of not right under our door, our, our, under our window, but over to the side. And they even had a sign outside says, you know, be, we, respectful. be respectful of the neighbors. And they still were making noise like crazy. One night, 
there was this group out on the sidewalk making noise like crazy. So I raised up the window. No, I didn't shout out, folks. I got a uh, uh, a big uh, a big uh, bucket, a big pan, a big what kettle? Kettle. Kettle, and filled it with water. And as they're, I take it and dump it all out the window. (laughs) And it was kind of like you could time the water, you know, because they would say, and I I throw it out. What the fuck? (laughs) When we were down at your place, there was a Starbucks. Water is harmless, by the way. There was a Starbucks about three blocks south Mm -hmm. from your apartment, like down and then over a couple blocks. But that's where all the bars were in those small streets. Yeah. And um, in the morning, and I'm, I'm out like maybe six o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. you should see all the money that would be on the street in front of these bars. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I used to pick it up all the time. Oh, I mean, a lot like change. Used to just, pay for your coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> just about. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was That's funny. pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But uh, uh, no, uh, we have all kinds of noises and, and you know, it, it somehow people don't have the idea that they're walking down the streets of a neighborhood where where they're they're people sleeping. People are sleeping. In you the- know what I hate are those cars that the alarm goes off, and the person lives a thousand blocks away. We had one go off a few years ago, and the police finally came, didn't they? The, well, yeah, the, yeah, but it was it took them forever. Okay, but it was like one of those that you know was a. This went on and on, on and, and on. Was a beep, 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 beep. And then it would stop for like about uh, 30 seconds. I think it and would then stop it would, when somebody threw a rock. And then it would start, start up again. <laughs> and it just kept going. Finally, somebody going. called the police. It went for, I think, something like four hours. Yeah. I'm surprised that the car's battery didn't die. Well, somebody called the police. I think that's what happened. I, I called the police. Oh, it was you? Yeah, I called them and I said, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a car that's just go, going like crazy. And he said, yeah, we've gotten a couple of calls about that. It was like in the middle of the night. But it took him forever to get out here to do anything about hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. What? Hey, it's not time yet. Well, it's almost. Might as well just start getting ready. Well, you want to you want to get out of here? No. I'm, am I boring you? Oh no no no. Am no. I am I am I am I boring you? <laughs> as long as you don't talk IT and routers and all that crap. So what router are you? Excuse me. Show are you watching right now? I just saw the the rest of a. Is it called Nan? What was it? Nana. Nan, Hannah. 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 I the mean, movie was much better. I I didn't. I didn't watch any of it, and I knew it was Hannah. You're calling it <laughs> Nana, so that shows you how much you care. And then you were watching something about a British thing about some woman. Oh, that's who, good. She is good. I didn't realize what a good actress she is. Well, she was in the she was She's in the Luther. affair. The affair. She She's more a, well known to Americans as being in the affair. But she was in Luther. Yeah. Well, she played Luther's psycho girlfriend. Yeah. And what's this thing about? It's about a woman who is married. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Wilson. Mrs. Called. Wilson. She's married and had two boys, and he dies. And all of a sudden, she finds out that she had an, another wife and who had kids. And then all of a sudden, she finds out there was a third wife with kids. Who did that happen to? They say it's we, based on a real story. Didn't that happen to, like, Charles Kuralt? Uh, that he he you know he did on the road, yeah. and when he was on the road, road. In, he was on the road. He was on the road. <laughs> And he supposedly had a couple of wives in a couple really? of times. Really? Yeah. What was the Peter? I think I think it was Corral. It was may it have been somebody Peter else. Sellers movie about the boat that went from Europe to North Africa, and he had a wife in each port. And one day, he got the the real sexy one in North Africa. He got her an apron and some cooking stuff. And the one in Europe, he got her these real sexy lingerie. He mixed them up. Uh, Not Peter Sellers. Who was the I, other? I, I, well, anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, this has this, this has happened where they've yeah. discovered that husbands have had another, and they it's it it because of the nature of their work where they were on the road like salespeople or whatever, so they could go away for a week at a time, stay with the other wife, yeah. and then come back home and stay with the other wife, have a second family. That oh. sounds like a great idea. Okay, Do you mind if I time. take on another wife as well? <laughs> be my pleasure. Because I want double the misery. <laughs> you have you've got it. Yeah. I'll give you double the misery. D- double the misery. Okay, yeah. let's turn on uh, the... Okay, hold on a second. Let's get the... See, it isn't that I actually turn the Skype on. It's always on. It's just that I'm not invisible now. Call in. Which I'm used to being invisible. 
at my age, you are you invisible. You are invisible. You know, so <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, I, so we're waiting for people to call. And uh, 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 as we sit here and talk and talk and wait, chat. And so, wait what else besides Woody Allen? That's it. That's about it. You know, I I don't know of uh, anything else. By the way, you notice I'm wearing my Tomb Raider ah. cap tonight. The reason I'm wearing my Tomb Raider cap tonight Laura is I Cuff. went and I found it, and I just knew that she was going to steal the hat I like to wear. Okay. So, you know, I know why you like that hat. Because it covers all your hair and you don't have to do it up and well, it's up. fluff it out it's and up. do all of that. It's up okay, we this. got we got a caller coming in here. Hold on. Let's a take second. a bet who it is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? That's the first caller sound. Uh, let me see. Phil who, who Meyer. Be? Hi. Of course. Hey. Of course. Hey. Of course. It's Good to Phil. see you. How are you? How are Hold you? on a second. I got to get my arm in here. Move your move yourself a little bit. There we go. Okay, yeah. Let me see here. You're scuba, right? There we yeah, go. Yeah, lately. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Congratulations yeah. are in order. I heard about your first prize. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. great. The best of show. That's wonderful. Yeah. Are you a poodle? Well, yeah, he's a <laughs> poodle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a Dalmatian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Uh, how, so how are you tonight, Phil? I'm fine. Uh, Marjorie, how are you feeling? Good, except my knee's not healing. Really? Yeah, it's still swollen. It still hurts. The doctor told her it would take a good year for this thing to get better. Yeah. So, you know, I'm saying I guess that's not bad that it's still hurting, you know. Here yeah. comes uh, here comes Charlie. Hold on a second while I bring Charlie into the mix and also uh, add him to the panel. Uh, which, um, as you know, folks, I have a whole process I have to do here. Uh, uh, well, wait a minute. We got. Oh, wait a minute. Lately, Who is it? Sounds Who, like it's it, Charlie. I know it's Charlie, but I can't. But it's, uh, yeah. Did you fuck up? Hey, hey Charlie. Hey, Hold Charlie. On I'm trying to find. Somebody's got something. Uh, I see y'all. Hey. Wait a minute. I, 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 don't, I don't get. Uh, I'm not. Dig uh, okay, hold on a second. Folks, uh, here I'm, we go. No, I'm trying I think to. You I'm, like the screen more than you like anything else. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I agree. Okay, let's see here. There we go. There's Charlie now. You just didn't come up uh, in the uh, in the thing yeah. there. So now we, we add you to the group. There we go. There's Charlie, folks. What happens is I have to oh, go. Oh, here's Patrick. Uh, and here comes Patrick. Let me add Patrick to the uh, mix. To the mix. Let me see here. Go here. Hey, Double Patrick. Double click on that and see if we. Ah, there if he we is. Have, He's I, there. I know we have him there, but I've got to get him here. All right. Uh, yeah. There's Darth Patrick. Okay. All right. And then I go like that. And then I go like that. And there's Patrick. See. You're right. See, um, yeah. it takes a little bit of doing at the beginning, and I should keep my glasses on so that I would can help. see better. That would help. How are you doing tonight, Patrick? I am super dandy. You never say you you feel like crap or anything like that. It's my anniversary weekend. On Sunday, it's going to be 16 years that I got paralyzed. Wait, don't so. you? Is yeah. this the big dinner? Uh, legal, you do the sir. big dinner night? Yep. 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 So Sunday is my big dinner night. So it's a celebration weekend. Okay. Yeah. And what tapes yeah. are you going to watch? Uh, actually, I'm going to watch Tuesdays with Maury. Um, and that was a book that I had read uh, prior to becoming paralyzed. And it was very inspirational for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. And he, um, I can't think of his name. He, he was always with um, Walter Matthau and uh, uh, The Odd Couple. Oh, um, what's his and, name? Uh, 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 Walter Mathau and, 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 and uh, Tony Randall. To no, it wasn't no, Tony no, Randall. No, excuse me. The movie was, was uh, Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon. Yes, Jack Lemmon. that was it. Jack. I'm in dinner, and that, and he played the main character. So that'll be my movie Sunday night after I get back from dinner. Okay. And how, All right. Do you do you celebrate by dancing or something? Yeah, right. Yeah. He rolls around. He rolls. Do you have around. a drink? Do you have a drink or champagne or some special drink? Yeah, it's my once a year drink and it's a rum and coke. Okay. Oh. Okay. But it's but once no. a year, that's it? Yeah, that, 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 oh. that, that, every three years. And I don't know why it happened this way, 
on New Year's Eve, I'll have a beer. By the way, let me say to the audience out there that's listening that uh, Patrick uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, is a gimp, uh, I guess. What do we, uh, a gimpoid American. And uh, he, uh, he's handy capable. He's handy capable. He is capable, <laughs> handy. <laughs> He, he hates he, that. But he, <laughs> but he, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's pretty well gone from the waist down, and uh, he, so. But you never know it because you never see that on the show. You know, we, we. I don't think we've ever seen your wheelchair really. I've he seen won't it. stand for this. I've seen pictures on Facebook. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know that, but I'm saying that if they watch the show, all they see is like from the chest up. You know. Oh yeah, I didn't see. Probably the, hand- it, yeah. the, the handles. handles. Yeah. What? Well, I don't see any. Behind them, I, right oh, there. Oh, I see. Oh, I see that in back. He's got of a me, blue yeah. wheelchair with black handles. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And and for me to roll back, there's really no room because yeah. Yeah. the desk where I'm at, the couch is right behind me. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah, it. But yeah. yeah, there's pictures all over Facebook. It showed that I'm really legitimately crippled. So. <laughs> what was that show? What was the show I was watching? Was was it Seinfeld where they had this? The father's in a wheelchair, and the mother keeps yelling. You keep tracking in dirt on the rug from your wheels. <laughs> yeah. Well, that happens. That does happen. Oh yeah, and salt in the winter. Mm-hmm. What happens if oh, you really? if you ever rolled over some dog shit and then came back and it? Oh jeez. Right. Well, I mean, that happens. These I'm are sure. important questions, Charlie. And, and I move, bet it's happened. Do you move the wheels by holding on to the wheels, or do you have some sort of uh, secondary uh, thing to push with? It doesn't matter, Phil. The thing is, like I, I, I'm sure I've said this on this show and and other shows in the past. I always laugh at people who say they don't like walking barefoot outside because their feet might get dirty. Well. These are my feet. Yeah. I wear gloves, but when you roll through dog shit or you go to the men's room anywhere, you're rolling through piss on the floor. Yeah. yeah. You're rolling through uh, bird shit. And your hands. Or, you yeah. know, anything. And even though I have the gloves on, I'm. it doesn't matter where I wheel, Phil, because I do have, there's a, uh, there's a rim on the outside of the wheel. Yeah, that's why I was asking. The thing is, you roll through dog shit or you get that on there, you're still touching it when you take your gloves off. Sure. Uh, if I go to dinner, I can wash my hands before, but then you roll back and whatever, mm-hmm. carpeting, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you, you know, when I was in a uh, full prostate uh, position, uh, sometimes Wait, I'd be full driving. Full prostate and... position? Full yeah. prostate <laughs> position? Yeah, I had a. Prostate. You had your prostate removed, Phil. You never been. You never haven't lately been in a prostate position. <laughs> well, I anyway, think the word you're looking uh, for is prostrate. No, I wasn't prostrate. I was in a pre-prostate. You know, I still oh, had the prostate. So, uh, I had this thing called a trucker's friend. You know, because you'd be driving down the street. No, and, okay, okay. Uh, you know. Uh, now you grab it and stab it. Can you use a trucker's friend and then just open the door and pour it out? <laughs> so. I I have a, an empty Mountain Dew bottle in the car because yeah. one, nobody would be able to tell what it is if except the person that drank it because you didn't <laughs> pour it out. <laughs> uh, times I've had to use that, and then no, I don't just pour it out out in public because you could get arrested yeah. or get cited for that. So I wait till I get home and then dispose of it. But, it. Uh, and with that, we, folks, I'm going to say good night. Oh, is this the time for us to kiss? Mm, yeah. oh, look at that. That's really, that's really, that's really hot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Oh, you didn't even get tongue on that. Oh, yeah. my goodness. No get tongue. in room. <laughs> she, nice. she never even tongues me anymore. You know? <laughs> she just, it's just, mm, night. Mm, night. <laughs> yeah, and I'll kiss you on the on your shoulder when I get in bed. I have do. to I have to kiss her on the shoulder when I get in bed because uh, uh, you make her give back the hat. Oh, hey, give me the hat back! <laughs> no, no, she did. She oh, stuck you did. it on the thing. Oh, okay, she did. <laughs> All right. Um, um, uh, do you take a deposit? 
What, for the hat? I should, yeah. shouldn't I? <laughs> anyway. Well, we got room for more people, folks. Lots more people. Anyway. Not on that screen. And we got quite a few, you know, more people are watching this now than were watching it before. Uh, yeah. like while it. it's on, but it, afterwards, I'm thinking of not even putting it up on Facebook anymore, you know, because nobody watches it on Facebook. Probably not necessary. Well, I, you know, fuck Facebook. I hate Facebook. Facebook's uh, the, Zuckerberg is saying that he wants them, the government, to regulate it. Uh, you know, I guess he's getting ready to sell off his stock, huh? I I don't know. I mean, regulate what, Phil? I well, mean, he, uh, he had made some sort of statement that uh, he felt that the government ought to come in and regulate these social platforms, including uh, uh, for content and. And, and so forth. I guess he doesn't want to be the one that says, you can't post this stuff here. He would rather the government uh, be the bad guy and say, you can't post this stuff here. Well, you know, I mean, he does have a point that when the government tells you you have to, then you can just blame the government for not right. letting something on or for censoring something or whatever. For years, for instance, broadcasters have said, well, we don't want to use that kind of language because we could get in trouble with the FCC because the FCC won't let us do that. But mm -hmm. nobody's ever gone to the FCC and fought to get those words on general broadcasting, which by today's standards, they probably should be allowed to do just to be competitive to cable. Okay, Maybe after a certain time of day. But, th but they can still use that as an excuse so they don't have to do it, you know? So... Uh, uh, I, maybe that's what he means, you know, that if they regulate it, good. Tell us what we can do and what we can't do, and we'll work within that, just as long as you don't stop yeah. my advertising, you know, or affect that, you know. But, I mean, I just think that uh, there's just something about Facebook that's kind of like uh, I don't like. I just don't like. Um, I'm not I don't either. There's been another breach of, uh, of data. 20 million people or something? Right, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and, and uh, for, I guess, you know, people have access because they buy information from Facebook. We always wondered, how does Facebook make any money? And now we know. Well, they of course. sell our shit. They're in, the, they're in the business of selling data, you know, right. and you, the data is you. Uh, mm -hmm. And I don't know that I am bothered by that because, after all, they are supplying a service to me for free, Right. And so Not how really. do I pay for it? I allow them to use the data that they, what they find out about me or find from me. Uh, and if but I don't, we didn't know that that's well, yeah, well we, we didn't were know doing. that was what was happening. Right. Uh, and now that we do, and now that it's out in the open, and now that they're honest about it, okay, that that's well, what they caught. The, well, yeah, and now that they're honest about it, uh, uh, we have a choice. We could either keep using Facebook or not use Facebook. And um, you, as a Republican, should understand that you know. Well, I, I don't I don't believe that there should be regulation. If he can't regulate himself, uh, it's 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 a but what, publicly what, what traded you, company, you, but, but it's not a my, government. My question entity. is, what do you regulate? You know, uh, the rules the rules for posting. You know, the uh, I, I would imagine. You know, it has to do with hate, and it has to do well, with but you uh, know something, fake news. You know, here, I, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong on this, Patrick, because okay, you'll take wrong. me to tax, test. No, <laughs> I don't think they should stop people from posting hate. I think that it should be an electronic Hyde Park. Hyde Park is a place in London I, where you go, people go on Sunday, they stand up on a soapbox, and they can yell and scream about anything. And nobody stops them. The police don't stop them from the, because of the subject matter or whatever. And I kind of think of, of Facebook as an electronic Hyde Park. Alex, and I don't, I don't want to say... I don't, is, is one guy... On a soapbox with forty pigeons and six drunks. Well, that's the same. Uh, that's the same as a Facebook podcaster. Is three at, at, billion people. That's same as a podcaster. You know, <laughs> no, I, one I, guy I, with I, three I, pigeons who are listening. You know. Right. Yeah, well, no, he's, this guy had forty pigeons, but yeah. uh, no. But I, I, all I'm saying is, let everybody say what they got to say. I have the right not to read it or to just not go to their particular page. Uh, and uh, uh, caveat and. Mtor, buyer beware, 
and and just you know let it let the you know what 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 if it's russians uh what if it's you know what if it's the 400 pound guy in in new jersey uh, that's spreading divisive information is is that phil allowable? phil people should know that anything you read on facebook you better not take at face value that that the fact of the matter is because anybody can post anything there you know there's no reason to believe that uh, that anything that's on there is necessarily true. You remember the days when your mother said, "If it's on TV, it must be true." <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean that that you know uh, the the problem is okay, and you're guilty of this yourself. People no, will say something is totally wrong, is totally untruthful. And, and they will say, well, wh 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 where, where did you see that? I, well, I saw that online. It's got to be true. <laughs> well, you know, no, I would say if it's online, it's probably not true. Well, yeah. I, I get most of my crap from yeah. CBS oh. and, and uh, oh, CNN. Yeah. Sure you do. Sure you I do. I do because right. I have a Roku. I can't, yeah. I don't even get Fox. Uh-huh. Yeah. If Fox, uh, by the way, have, Fox News is on Roku. Yes. Uh, only uh, the clippets, you know, the little snippets. No, no, the live is there too. I can't get it because I don't, I, I never, uh, I stopped using Comcast. Yeah, and, you and your excuses. Uh, Patrick. Well, you got to wait for me to get it? Patrick's <laughs> got his hand up. Um, using regular media, printed media, or even uh, websites, there's a story that's been out now for two days. Charlie's probably aware of it, but you guys probably aren't, that um, a, a sports writer uh, supposedly broke a story on the Green Bay Packers' uh, former coach and their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. And there was this big infighting mm -hmm. for the last several years, and that led to the firing of the coach because the quarterback uh, has all this power and, and there's all this disagreement and this hatred. Well, the story only cites one player, a former player, and the rest are all anonymous sources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The thing is, there's so many anonymous sources that it almost makes the story unbelievable because you would think somewhere there would be more than one or two former players or coaches that would be able to go on record because, one, there's no repercussion. If they're no longer with the team mm -hmm. and the coach is no longer with the team, there's no reason not to, you know, come out and be honest about it. Right. So it's sort of the same thing, Phil. You, you know, you, Are you've these got, guys retired? Well, the coach was fired. No, and, I know, but are they retired? Are they looking for jobs elsewhere? No, the other players are all retired and they're done. Oh, but okay. they're anonymous sources. We don't know who they are, and they they may not exist. And it, it, what I'm getting at is it's just like Facebook. Sometimes you have to look at an article like this that's very salacious, and a lot of people who don't like uh, the coach in Wisconsin here or that didn't like you know, what was going on, they're going to want to believe it because it, it's what they believe. But if yeah. you reach deeper and there's no actual foundation, you need to take it at face value. And sometimes face value is just it's bullshit. So like Alex is saying, you can't believe everything that's on Facebook and you can't take it to heart. And I don't. I mean, I look at stuff and a lot of stuff I just roll right over. Yeah, we've been jo we were joined by Jeff, by the way, in case. Uh, Hello, that, that's Jeff Stein up there in Connecticut. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Um, I am. Uh, thank God you called because it was two 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 liberals against two uh, conservatives. Now it's uh, it, it, it's not it's not good enough to have it fifty fifty, huh? <laughs> Listen, I wish you, you don't want a fair. I fight. wish it were fifty fifty, and I wish we'd like Charlene Martinez would call us or, uh, uh, gee, I forget her name in Hawaii. Uh, Renee. 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 Uh, Renee. It's been so long Renee. since she's called, uh, and I don't know why she hasn't called. Maybe she just got tired of it. I don't know. Hey, let me bring something. I, this is something I brought up while a girlfriend was here, and this is about this Woody Allen deal where he's suing Amazon for $68 million 
Didn't uh, they cut his deal? Because they tra- they 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 got tra- they went and dropped him. He had uh, right. still I think three pictures yeah. left in his deal, and that was worth sixty eight million dollars, and he wants his money. And they say their argument back, and I I uh, is this a good argument or is it a, isn't it a good argument? Uh, mm-hmm. They say that. Allen's own comments were to blame for the failure of his movies, justifying the cancellation of the multi-picture deal. What comments? Well, uh, um, well, uh, okay, here, here's what he said. After uh, uh, allegations against Harvey Weinstein by Ronan Farrow, which yeah. is Woody's son, actually. Yeah, he claims. He claims. It looks like it's Frank Sinatra's son, but. Uh, the yeah. whole Harvey Weinstein, this is what he said, the whole Harvey Weinstein thing is very sad for everybody involved. Tragic for the poor women who were involved. Sad for Harvey that his life is so messed up. He also was quoted mm-hmm. as warning against a witch hunt atmosphere where every guy in an office who winks at a woman is suddenly having to call a lawyer to defend himself. What's wrong with that? Well, they are using even, that. Even, even I think that's right. I, I agree with him. Okay, but yeah. what's happened? What happened was, uh, he um, uh, 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 they're trying to get out of this contract, saying that well, he sabotaged his own movies by saying that. Bullshit! This is buyer's remorse. Okay, uh, Woody's pictures didn't do as well for them as they thought, or that TV show he did was not. A, a, I liked it. It, it. I thought it was okay. But it didn't do that well. It wasn't received that well critically. Uh, and then he turned out a couple of pictures for him, Wonder Wheel being one of them. Uh, and I don't know how that did or didn't do, but is the criterion how many people went to the movie theater to see it? No. It, it's, you know, how many people watched it? Well, if they didn't want to watch Woody Allen movies, which were always kind of a uh, art house fair, right. uh, and, and you maybe made a bad deal by doing that, uh, then don't have buyer's remorse. You owe him 68 million bucks. Or you got to settle, negotiate, like Trump would say. Well, I don't, I, I don't, I, you know, and I'm, what I'm getting sick of is I think men are being attacked. Okay. Yeah, look at that Joe Biden. Well, I mean, well no, but come on. No matter what you have to say, don't you feel that Joe Biden's being given a pretty bad time well, about this? I think he should ask permission of his grandchildren before he gives them a hug. Yeah, you know, yeah Is it okay, yeah, little yeah, Johnny? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you may not like Joe Biden, but come on. You know, does he deserve to be attacked? He's getting a raw deal. Yeah. A raw deal. Yeah. And that's that's a Trump, died the wool Trump it's guy an saying accusation. That. And uh, like... Like everybody that well, no, runs the judgment none them, against none Trump of them or say anyone else. He, none of them say he ever made a sexual advance towards them. They said, oh, it wasn't sexual, but I felt uncomfortable. Uh, okay. All right. Yes, uh, Patrick. A good number of these on, on uh, media that you can watch. I mean, if, what, I mean, if, if you want to compare Biden to Weinstein... Uh, mm-hmm. Weinstein did it in private and kept that stuff behind closed doors so nobody would know he was assaulting them. Joe Biden, it was on news, it was at various uh, campaign stops. There were hundreds <clears throat> of thousands of people around him, video cameras, cameras. I mean, it, it's not the there, same thing. There's it's, a difference. Weinstein, Weinstein uh, it was what, a quid pro quo? Uh, you know, it was they. It was an understanding. Uh, you wanted to get, uh, further your career. Okay. This is the this but, is the couch. But still, but still, I will go along with those women who want to say he was using his power to have me have yeah. sex with him. And, and they and, use and, their and, sexuality and, 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 you know, to when, further their career. Well, it's not they use their sexuality. He assumed their sexuality. He found them attractive, and he invited them over. I mean, let's face it. It wasn't like. The Harvey Weinstein gaffes weren't no, uh, known to everybody. You know, uh, in Hollywood, I mean, I'm sure if a woman said, I'm going up to Harvey Weinstein's room at 3 o'clock this morning, there were probably people around here who went, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You know, Harvey's reputation. But they did it anyway. Now, right. at what point does it become 
they're bad as well because they knew and they didn't take the precaution. It's not and I'm not excusing Harvey's. Victim. I'm not excusing Harvey's um, actions at right. all because he was using his power to to seduce women or to not even seduce them to just you know. Can yeah. you imagine that Coerce. ugly body all over yours? Oh my God, Jesus uh, Christ! Uh, that would be an improvement for me. Like, <laughs> hey, you're, you're you're fucking George Clooney compared to Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the face. And by the way, by the way, let's add this to this: if those same women went up to uh, George Clooney's room at three o'clock in the morning, you wouldn't hear them complaining about it. You know, you'd hear them saying. Guess who I fucked last night? That's <laughs> right. what they'd be saying. The, uh, you know, Harvey Weinstein was caught like this because he was so fucking ugly. You know, and, you know, and, and you would have to want to vomit in your, in your hat to have yeah. sex with Harvey Weinstein. You ever see those uh, casting call things on RedTube? Uh, you know, it's it's no different. You know, uh, these these women weren't even getting paid. They they with the hope of maybe they would get a well, porn. Look, look, spot. look, one of the women who 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 assailed Harvey was yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow, and she owes him uh, a debt of gratitude for winning an Oscar for what was a mediocre performance. He went out and he did the all, all the publicizing and all the work right. that had to be done because he knew how to do it to right. get her an Oscar. And she got an Oscar. And that Oscar was worth how much money to her in future earnings. It just... A couple it, blowjobs. It, it, no, no. It was... It was... It, it was it, it, where, where, where's... Oh, Jeff's moving. I see. Yeah. Um, it, you know, around. I mean, her career was made by Harvey Weinstein. Okay? Yeah. A uh, lot of people. And she... And she probably slept with him. I have no doubt she slept with him. Hold on a second. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> God bless you. Wow. It's still this damn cold and allergies on top of that. Anyway, uh, I, I'm sure she slept with him. And I'm sure she, she knew what she was doing when she slept with him. And yeah. she won herself an Academy Award for having slept with him. She got the lead role in Shakespeare in Love. And then she turns around and goes, Harvey Weinstein's a beast. Oh, come on, he is. Gwyneth. You know, you, she, you're not one to complain. I'm sorry. But she jumped on the bandwagon. You know, uh, when sometimes when it's like the kid that drops his lunch tray at school, yeah. and then the whole cafeteria starts, uh, you know, jumping on him and yelling at him and uh, laughing. It's, it's the same thing. Uh, he, he was vulnerable. Uh, these people felt that maybe they were taken advantage of, and hey, they, it was time did, for them to retaliate. Did, what he did, and, and don't get me wrong, what he did was disgusting. Okay, yeah. if, what, if he did what they say he did. He used his power, he used his prestige to get women to fuck him. All right? Uh, certainly that casting couch is not a new thing in Hollywood. Harvey didn't invent it. It was invented by the big movie moguls of the 30s and 40s and into the 50s, uh, but nevertheless, uh, y you know, I, I don't excuse his behavior, but I have to say that it's a little hypocritical of some people to put him down for something which they cashed in on before this thing ever happened. And he yeah. wasn't the only producer that was doing this. No, no, there were quite a few. There were a lot of them, you know. Right. I mean... I always found it a disgusting practice whenever they talked about the uh, the casting couch in Hollywood. Yeah. I found it disgusting. I just uh, thought it was horrible. Uh, the, you know, a, a person should be allowed to get their job on their merits, in which yeah. case Gwyneth Paltrow would have never been in Shakespeare in Love, okay? I mean, I would have done a much better casting job than that if I were uh, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Well, you know, I slept on your couch for a week during the mudslides in Sausalito, mm -hmm. and uh, you put me on the radio. Uh, was there any connection there? Was that the <laughs> casting couch? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that was the casting couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's casting couch. Yeah. But I mean, it was actually uh, comfortable. Yeah, I mean, it was, it's just. It, it, I, I just think it's kind of amazing. Uh, uh, but the way guys are being attacked today, I, I think that. You know, I mean, 
you've got to be very careful today. Yeah. You know, you, you almost can't ask somebody out on a date. I mean, uh, 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 I certainly... Not at work. Well, I always made it a policy never to have a relationship with anybody I worked with. Um, did I ever... <laughs> Have, have I a, had a policy. I, I had a relationship with anybody that would talk to me. Yeah, but I think that <laughs> I never, I you know, anybody that worked with me or worked for me, mm -hmm. I, I never had a, a relationship with, never touched, never did anything like that. I might hug them hello or something on or 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 on a, mm -hmm. a, a on, on their birthday give them a hug or something. But it wasn't there wasn't anything sexual about it. Yeah. You know, and I've I've worked with some very good looking women in my time. I mean, Christy uh, Andrade Frazier, she has another name now, who was my producer in San Francisco for a while, uh, and then I, uh, you know, uh, used at uh, at uh, Play TV, uh, is one of the most, at least in her day when she was younger, and she even is to this day, an absolutely ravishingly gorgeous woman. Okay never even came close to even touching her okay because i worked with her and the nature and i never came on to her because the nature of our relationship was as uh, as two people who worked together in this in this endeavor and and so uh i i never wanted to ruin that kind of relationship is yeah. that the one that you were accused of uh beating uh, uh, to within an inch of her life, and no, 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 uh, no, 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 in, no, no. That, Finland that, that was my that Norway. was my newswoman Lori, and I never ever oh. touched Lori either, and we I never even hit her. Okay, and she even said I never hit her. This was some crazy woman that was rooming with her at the Olympics, who heard yeah. me having a yelling and screaming argument outside, and I think I was slapping my hand or something, and then she then went and told the Coca Cola people. Well, he, he was beating Lori last night. And so when I come in to do my show, they take me down to the basement. The, the Coca-Cola police, right? Yeah. Literally, the Coca-Cola police. And they, they hold me down there and they say, you're not getting out of here until Lori comes. We got we to gotta find out if you, if you hit her. I said, I never hit her. So she came in and um, they said, did Alex hit you last night? And she said, uh, what? <laughs> you know, Alex would never hit anybody. You know, yeah. uh, we were having an argument, but he didn't hit me. And they went, oh. And then they realized that they were in trouble because well, they they uh, were they were jumping the gun awfully fast on that. You know, I had a similar thing happen. And, to but me. by the way, and by the way, that was a case of the guy not being believed before the woman was there to say, hey, he was okay. Yes, Patrick. Did they at least give you a coke to leave? No, no they. Uh, what they did is they took the woman who 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 told them the story and they put her on the first plane back to the United States. Oh. Uh, and and then they apologized profusely, okay, and profusely to my radio station as well for what they had done. But you know, they still. I was I was being literally held uh, without. Um, uh, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Being held without my permission uh, in this basement at the at the. You were being Studios, detained being as detained. they investigated the. Uh, yeah. The accusation. You know why not? Why not wait for her to come in first and ask her, and then if she says yes, he did, take me down to the yeah, basement. Yeah, what they should have done. Yeah. Yes, uh, Jeff. I I kind of I want to describe what my wife told me today. Yeah. About how they feel about men and and what really irritates them and i and i think and she reminded a, a guy that we used to work with mm -hmm. and he would come over and give her a hug and she goes and he always had this smell cologne, cologne. <laughs> old spice yeah. Well, I don't know. High what karate. I high karate. I, you know, I never got to kiss him. Something like but that. I, and I don't know if she ever kissed him. Yeah. But, or he kissed him. But anyway, he would kind of like come in. And as she says, he was definitely too much in my space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, look, 
That, that. <laughs> yeah, she's, he could smell his cologne for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, I mean, something like that is, is uncomfortable at, at, at the worst and, and, and disgusting smell-wise, you know. But then again, I always, how many of us ever had an aunt or a grandmother yeah. oh. who, who used to have bad breath, who used to, you know, hey, oh, no, they, 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 or too much cologne. Yeah, or no. too much cologne. Too much perfume. Yeah. Too much perfume. Yeah. Yes, pa Patrick. By the way, are um, we gonna get are we gonna get any more calls from people tonight? Is this gonna be it? It's fine, but you know the screen looks like I'm missing teeth. Uh, yes, go ahead, uh, Patrick. I would rather deal with the cologne issue because I had a very good friend of mine. He passed away a couple years ago. Um, he was, uh, I would say, uh, about six foot five or so. Mm -hmm. And we had taken a, a flight down to Florida for a vacation, mm -hmm. and he sat in the seat next to me on the plane, and he put his arm up on the, you know, on the top Ooh. of the um, seat, <laughs> and I was under his armpit, and he never used deodorant. Uh -huh. And I tell you, that, that's a three and a half hour flight from Milwaukee down to Orlando. Yeah. And oh Jesus. It, you know, and uh, yeah, so I'll take cologne over pit smell any day. Yeah, well, you I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something. France. I just, you know, I my whole thing was I never like to make anybody feel uncomfortable. You know, I think to me the worst sin was if I had knew a woman and somehow in coming on to her or whatever, I made her feel uncomfortable. So I never did anything. It would make them feel uncomfortable. In fact, they'd almost have to. Somebody once said, Alex is such a gentleman that a woman ab probably has to expose herself to him to say she wants to sleep with him before he'd give it a try, you know. Uh, and, and that's true. I mean, true. I, uh, you, you were What about Red? I mean, uh, she sent you pictures. Yeah. First, yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, and that's not to say I didn't have relationships with women who were like fans and things like that come on otherwise i would have never gotten laid uh you know but i don't think that that was uh, but again i didn't they had to make the first move i never made the first move uh and uh, uh I, and and i certainly oh never never put them in a position where they felt that they were uncomfortably being groped or grabbed or thrown on the bed or whatever Okay, that, I, that just wasn't my modus operandi. Can I have my handcuffs back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, I, and I, I keep trying to think if I were famous today, okay, uh, is there anybody that could come forward and truthfully say that I treated them badly? You know? And I, I, I don't know that there aren't some women, women that would come along who are like nutcases who will say he did this and he did that and lie through their teeth. And then it's my job not to prove that they're wrong, but to prove that I didn't do it. You remember the stalker uh, that Which I got stalker? rid of for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He used to call the station like Yeah, but I never knew her. Times. You know, I, I, I'll tell you what I had happened to me once in, in New York. And I, yeah. I've told this story before, but and don't stop me if I've you've heard it before. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I, uh, I got a call from this guy, and he said, uh, I'm so-and-so's father. And I said, so-and-so's father? So who's that? He said, that's my daughter, and uh, she's pregnant, and she says, you're the father. <laughs> and I said, uh, I'm sorry. I've never met your daughter in my life. And he says, you're just saying that. And really, he was f confirmed that I that I, uh, I got his daughter pregnant. Uh, and uh, 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 as it turned out, I'm trying to remember how it turned itself out, but eventually she came clean and said she was lying about me. That, that when he asked her, well, who's the father? Because she didn't know, she mentioned the first person that she could name, and it was me because she listened to me every night on the radio. But, you know, if that had been pursued, it could have cost me a lot of money to prove that I didn't have a relationship with her. Could have gotten arrested. So, uh, wasn't she a minor? Huh? 
Uh, no, was I don't she a think, minor? I don't know if she was a minor or not. But yeah. that that's little or no uh, little or no worth. I mean, the fact is that she, you know, she she uh, just said that, you know, and and mm. uh, you can be accused of things. That's all there is to it, and uh, uh, and it's your job to prove you didn't do it. Yeah, you know, and and um, uh, so guys are always considered guilty before proven innocent, always. And that's what's happening with this Me Too thing. That's why I find the Me Too thing so egregious. It's not because I don't think women have been wronged and that they should be heard and that they, the, the people who wronged them should be dealt with. But a lot of people are, shall we say, now taking advantage of the Me Too movement to really lie about people. Why did people rush to judgment on Kavanaugh? Why was he guilty and others aren't? Uh... Because he was going for a post which carries with it a great deal of moral uh, uh, decency. Uh, yeah, you, wait a minute, let me finish. Let me that, finish what yeah, I'm okay. saying, uh, a moral decency, and that his moral decency was being brought into question. And th they did hear the woman. And quite frankly, uh, I believe her. To this day, I believe her. Uh, but uh, because I felt she was very creditable. Uh, but, uh, you know, they voted the way they voted. They voted against what she was saying, uh, but she put herself out there, and I, I don't think somebody puts themselves out there unless they feel that they've she, been wrong. She was thrown out there by Feinstein. No, and no, she wasn't. Yeah. No, she wasn't. No, she, was. yeah, they, she wanted to be anonymous. No, she wasn't. <laughs> No, she and they didn't. exposed her. No, yeah, uh, they. Well, well, she. No, somebody came to Feinstein with this story. Okay, right. and uh, uh, you know, um, she didn't. Uh, it came to her with this story, and so she checked into it uh, and asked her if she would uh, come before the group. And uh, and uh, let me see here. I'm trying to hog rider. There we go. You're a hog rider, right? Uh, um, yeah. 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 Uh, and, and uh, yeah. Patrick has been wanting to say something. Uh, hog rider is Kevin, ladies and gentlemen. He's back at his normal mic now, which means wow. he's sitting erect. Yeah, uh, or something like that. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that in a sexual <laughs> sense, ladies I and wish. gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, he made me feel Patrick uncomfortable. He actually had his hand up so long that he had to put it down, which he, is he, very he, unusual. He, he, Patrick. He, didn't make, he made me feel uncomfortable because uh, he was sitting erect. Uh, <laughs> anyway. I thought there was another microphone down there. Huh? I thought Kevin had another microphone coming up from the bottom. Uh, there, so. Yes, right. Exactly. Exactly. It's not that big. Come on. Yeah. So anyway, what were you going to say? It Patrick? is when you press Patrick the button that Patrick charges had his, up. Patrick had his hand up. Did you say, Phil? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Patrick. Well, the point I was going to make um, with the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. uh, people jumping on and and you know false accusations or at least unfounded one to begin with is exactly what Jess or Jussie Smollett did with his false claims that he made it more difficult now yeah. for uh, you know any sort of hate crime mm -hmm. in Chicago to be initially believed unless you've got 100% video and all this other stuff because he supposedly had all this and then it turns out it's not and you've got the two brothers on, on video buying the crap and all he did was make it more difficult for people who have legitimate crime against them. But, and it's the same with these women that are the ones that are just saying it to either get back, kind of like what you were accused of, Alec, with the pregnancy thing, um, just trying to get back at somebody or, or whatever. You're making it difficult for actual, legitimate cases of rape or uh it, you know, sexual uh, harassment or whatever, and yeah. you know, it, it it goes against what the whole Me Too movement was supposed to be. Well, I mean, what you're what you're saying is true, and I mean, Je Jesse Smollett. The worst thing about Jesse Smollett, and the reason a lot of the gay and black community are mad at him, 
is because he did make this a travesty. He did make it so that other people who come forward who were assaulted, who were uh, 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 treated in this manner, will not be believed as easily. Just simply because he set the tempo for what, uh, how you accept this sort of thing. It, it was, it's very sad. It's very sad. But it's also sad because we also rush to judgment because the guy is black and he's gay. And so all our liberal sensible sensibilities go, oh, yes, so we, he, must be, he must be believed. He must be dealt with. He's, he's got a case here. Isn't that horrible what happened to Jesse Smollett? Hey, and you know what a Republican would say? That's two strikes against them. Yeah, yeah, but you know something. Yeah, you know, but you, but you know, on this program, I said there's something about this story that sounds awfully fishy to me, you know. And so I was the first one, and I said it because, hey, what am I doing? A, a, a podcast hardly anybody listens to, and so who's going to give me a bad time, right? You know. But I was right. Yes, Patrick. The 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 thing that made me doubt it initially. Mm -hmm. Um was when it took place, not time of day, but the weather. Because mm -hmm. the weather was exactly the same in Milwaukee as mm -hmm. it was in Chicago. And it was, I think, minus 35 degrees outside. And I couldn't imagine anybody doing that sort of thing, especially with a news yeah. where it would take time. I, you know, if you're going to do that in that weather, you take a baseball bat, club them on the knees, and then you run away. Right. You know, something like that. There, you're just too much time and laying in wait for somebody. Yeah. God damn, if you've ever been out in minus 35 degrees weather, you don't want to be out there more than five minutes, you know, to get in and out of your car, and that's it. Yeah, let's let's wait for better weather to beat the crap out of them. Especially Nigerian yeah. guys. It's usually 200 degrees in their home country, yeah. and for them to be out in that kind of weather, I don't think they want to be there. If that would have happened now. If he would have said now, in the weather it is, you know, yeah. in the 30s or 40s or whatever, I would believe it more than I did then. Because, like I said, minus 35, throw a hot cup of coffee outside, it turns into snow. Well, the city, is, the well, city of Chicago not, not isn't, letting him, it isn't letting this thing go. You know, they're, they're, they're filing suit against him for how much did it say? Uh, uh, 130000 130000 something like that, that it costs to to investigate this situation. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, sm and, and there's still the federal, possible federal charges, uh, the dealing with the so-called letters that he got, supposedly, you know, the, threatening him. Yeah, fake anthrax. Well, and the fake anthrax, uh, you know, mm. which is easily imitated a, by Johnson's baby powder, yeah. you know. Which, by the way, is dangerous because it'll kill babies. But, you know, well, that's... Uh... The guy that sent the phony bombs, uh, the uh, supposed Trump supporter from yeah. Florida. Yeah, the guy with uh, CNN. Yeah. 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 Uh, now, his bombs couldn't explode, but it's basically the same thing that uh, that Smollett did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle that. Well, uh, uh, no, they, they uh, didn't he already like say he was guilty or something? Didn't he take uh, take a guilty plea on that deal? I don't know. I think so. I yeah. think he did. Yeah. 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 He, yeah. Said, so. he, he said he did it. He, he he admitted that he paid those guys. The oh, not small. No, no, we're talking about the other guy. We're talking about the uh, guy the with guy the bombs. In Florida, CNN the man guy. The, oh yeah. I, no. The guy who had the van that said arrest me. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. it was like uh, it was like it's amazing. I mean, it was just amazing. His van, it it yeah. it, it, it just said, "I'm the guy." <laughs> you know, I'm I'm the one. But I think he pleaded guilty or something, or took a guilty plea or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I guess he he's he was a bodybuilder and some other things. So maybe he thought that life would be better in jail. It probably. Than, uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. He but, wouldn't have to know. pay for a gym membership. But, I mean, we're living in times now where accusations, I mean, like, I, you know, I, 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 it's interesting to have you, who's a Trump supporter, Phil, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and doesn't like Joe Biden, to say Joe Biden's getting a raw deal. Yeah, well, yeah. he is. I mean, yeah. just because I'm a Trump supporter doesn't necessarily mean that I don't, you know, uh, that I don't speak what I believe to be the truth. Yeah, 
And, and it, it was uh, uh, an absolute uh, 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 bad thing that has happened to Joe Biden. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think some other Democrats had a lot to do with that. Okay. Yeah, I think Soros and Media Matters. What, they don't want Biden? No, they don't want Biden. They want the, the commie uh, in Vermont, uh, Sanders. <laughs> well, how do you know Soros wants Sanders? Soros I never wants heard Sanders? Sanders? Soros doesn't yeah, want Sanders. Uh, I, uh, from what I, I heard that he was a, a heard, big donor. I heard. Uh, to, 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 well, he may be uh -huh. a big donor to every Democrat. He may be hedging his bets on that. He could you be, know. but uh, I, uh, for one reason or another, Biden. Uh, the, the other guy that they're going to go after soon is Schultz. Uh, and I actually kind of like Schultz. Of course think, you would, because you know? he's a guy who's completely inept, has an inability to even articulate. Uh, and, and I didn't know. That's not true. Have you ever listened to him? Yes. Did you listen to his town hall yesterday? No, I don't. I, I don't follow these guys around. I'm not a groupie. Uh, uh, well, I didn't. I didn't listen to it either. Uh, but uh, uh, there were some uh, excerpts that, that were played. And he sounded okay to me. He's a centrist uh, Democrat, kind of like Hate Trump. Him already. <laughs> yeah. So listen. Yeah. You know what happens? I go out. I work all weekend uh, to create these these templates for what you see on the screen here right now you see my six template but I did a three I did an, a six I did an eight and I did a twelve uh, did I waste my time by going higher than six <laughs> no you know this it's week like, nobody seems to be calling it, it, it's like pants you, you gotta be able to buy those sizes in between i gotta i gotta wait for the large size. i mean you know i only had a royal flush one day this week or or a, a full uh, house a full house yeah one day this week and it was the night you were here by the way phil they yeah, call that, like it, crazy when you're not here yeah yeah i know right I was now i'd have Bodiker would be on and uh to, uh, uh um What's his name? Uh, um, Tom, uh, Tom Berkeley. Tom, uh, Tom Yamaguchi. Tom Yamaguchi. Uh, you know, but, you know. I think if Tom wanted to call, he'd call. You know, he's Wednesdays are a good night for him. Oh, uh, are they really? Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, now Scott uh, might have uh, an issue. I mean, somebody that goes to church seven days a week uh, has definitely got something to atone for, you know. <laughs> And, uh, and, oh well, that's going to make him. And, and he can't. Call. He can't listen to anything that doesn't agree with his point of view without uh, taking a drink or getting crazy. Well, I so, uh, that makes you know, it, I respect him for that, staying away because that, that you makes, know, I don't want him to have a heart attack. That makes for a good show. Yeah, well, it does, but yeah, I don't want somebody to get hurt. Yeah, over it. And, and we haven't heard from Ray, but I think he's doing a play, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mamma Mia. When's he's that? He's going to have to sing. When's that over with? Uh, I think it's the 11th through the... I have a... Give me a card or something. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, we haven't I'll find it. Bree hasn't called in a while. Hasn't called at least this week. Mm. You know? He called like once since he got back to Dubai. Yeah. Where are you, Bree? Why aren't we hearing from you? He's uh, not waking up uh, he, this early. He's not waking up this early. I even have a I even have one template here for a single picture in case one of the people like Bree calls and then he's traveling around uh, Dubai or yeah. whatever I can just go to that frame alone and put it full screen so does it I take much that. to switch templates no not really you've been seeing just me do push it, it well, I've done it twice tonight you know yeah. <clears throat> you know it's just a matter of now I've got got sitting here waiting still uh, the one we're watching right now, so in case somebody calls, I'm ready to put it, put their name in there. You know, uh, yeah. maybe you need some mid mid sized templates. Uh, what I no, I've got I got one for three, for six, for eight, and for twelve. All right. Okay. I don't need more than that. You know. So. Anyway. Do tonight. Huh? <laughs> you do tonight. You see. I mean, here here here's for the audience to see. Here's the one for the eight. See, and oh. here's the, excuse me, that's the one for the, uh, yeah, that's the one for the eight, and uh, this is the one for the 12. See, mm -hmm. see, so I have, I have them for all of them, but this is the one we're using now because we just got five people. How you doing, Kevin? You, you're sitting up tonight. You're not uh, lounging. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. 
I got a really lousy connection tonight, though. Yeah, is is uh, oh, is Kevin? Wait, wait, wait um, a minute. Hold, hold on. A uh, oh, he was frozen on on the uh, no, YouTube. No, he, he he looks fine here. He looks yeah. great here. Well, <laughs> now he's moving. As a matter of fact, what? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah no, no he's, he's not frozen. He's just very uh, he, stiff. <laughs> well, he's you know he's got he's in pain. Or are you in pain? Is this working? Is the thing working? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. I just got a real lousy connection, so I might be freezing up. Well, no, you're you're not freezing up. You're, you're, oh, okay. You're, well, I'm, you're, you guys are freezing up. At, yeah. You know, ten oh. seconds at a time. For is something. there somebody in the house using a like a video game or something online or something? Wait a minute. Now he just froze. <laughs> now up. he's frozen. Now yeah. Frozen. Now he's frozen. Yeah. I think we lost him completely. <laughs> well, I'll just I'll just keep his froze. Oh, there, oh, he's, there. Back. He be, he's back. Well, now yeah. he's frozen again. Uh, if he hangs up, I'll just keep him there. He'll he'll stay frozen until he calls back, and then it will automatically start working again. So or until the end of the show. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had we had uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Jeff there the other go. night. It's working. Uh, yeah, we had Jeff the other night. Uh, now, now you're okay, Kevin. Uh, don't worry, just freeze. I won't it. talk. Uh, no, no. <laughs> if if let's say you have to reboot, what it would do is freeze up your picture, and then when you reboot it and got online, it would automatically pop into that space again. You know, so I'm fine with you. If you have to, you know, reboot or do something like that. Can, but anyway, Jeff you... the other night left us, and he was gone for like 20 minutes. And we didn't yeah. realize it because it was frozen. Because when somebody leaves, the picture freezes. It doesn't just go, yeah. go off. You know. So that's in the what happened sixth, the first night. In, in the sixth space, you can't put a square that says room for one more? Well, I've, I've, you know, yeah. I've, I've done enough work on this, Phil. Mm. You know, I got a note from Bree. That's why I know he's out there. Who said, yeah. why don't you make a thing so that it just says a number to call or whatever in the space that's empty? And I'm That's thinking, well, I just don't, you know, it's not that I don't have the real estate for it. It's that I don't have the, uh, I, I don't have the real estate in the, in the, in the sources and the scenes that I switch back and forth to uh, and from. Uh, it, uh, they're, I don't know. You're supposed to talk about, about the stories, not about uh, the technology, right? Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> We don't want to. Well, you, you don't want to know how the steak is, how the how the cow is killed. Salami. You just want to see how yeah. good the steak tastes. You yeah. know, well, you know, yeah. with the background, it doesn't matter if there's five or six. You know, you would have some of that background below you anyway, even if there was six. Oh uh, no, it looks it looks fine. It looks, looks fine. fine. You know, I'm not. Uh, you know. Did much, you figure out why Tom was uh, a square and not? Uh, well, horizontal? that's because he he has his camera um, made to be that size. And what oh. happens is I've got these squares all uh, uh, appropriated to, to a size, to a configuration, so that when he calls, it just fits in there. If you may notice, it was right in the center of what, what yeah. would have been the rectangle. And uh, if somebody has a, uh, uh, let's say they're using a phone and they turn it sideways, the picture is not going to turn sideways, but the thing is going to be like, you know, portrait mode within right. that frame. So I see. It's, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it works nice, you know. It works okay. With my luck, the company that does the thing that allows me to put the pictures oh, in you. here just uh, just uh, got bought up by some Norwegian company. And with my I heard they just sold to Skype today. No, 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 please. <laughs> please, no. Uh, no, but what happened is, is that um, um, I, all I could think of immediately when I heard that was, oh, no, they're going to start charging for the DVI now, for the thing that makes me, uh, allows me to put the pictures on here. So, Do you know anything about that uh, company uh, and why they would want to buy the technology? I, I never heard of them in my life, okay? Uh, <clears throat> they're supposedly a fairly big company in Norway. Uh, but which means they own a gas station. Oh, uh, six, six employees. Yeah, I you know I have no idea who they are. Um, but uh, the parent, I mean, there's a lot to buy there. Uh, the company has a thing called a, a, a TriCaster, which is a, a video switcher, which we used at the studio when we were doing that show uh, live every day. 
And you remember we had the virtual sets, the whole thing, and that was a, yeah. a nice, inexpensive piece of equipment comparatively. It was like a fifteen thousand dollar piece of equipment. And uh, then they had a thing called for years they've had a thing called Lightwave, which is a three D rendering program, which has been used in a lot of movies like Titanic and uh, and so on. And then they then they just came out with this whole DVI studio thing, which is a uh, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Somebody said it's an IP. Uh, it, it takes a picture. Video over internet. It, it, over internet or over your network. Over network, not internet, but your network. Uh -huh. uh, I don't understand how it works exactly, and I don't care. Again, I just care that I've been able to, to make things look this way. Well, that bored people. I just lost about seven of them. Okay, well, let's see what we can get into here. You, your audience is getting older and older. You may not have lost them because they were bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they may have died. Right. It's what, you, it's what you're implying. Uh, listen. Yeah, but, hey, you're pretty fast. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm sharp. I'm really sharp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I mean, sharper, you'd be a number two uh, pencil. Yeah. Well, somebody, who is it wrote me and said, Alex, you know, you may think you're getting older and you, you can't keep up with things and so on. But look at what you just did with the look of the program. And you did that all yourself. And I went, yeah, you're kind of right. <laughs> you know, I, I still kind of got it. You know, I can still do it. You know, so. I'll tell you, uh, I had, I, I was t trying to tell girlfriend this. I was dealing with, I have this, um, this company I use in Canada that serves some of my stuff. Uh, serves a lot of the... Uh, like the on-demand stuff that I uh, that I do, uh, I have it coming off the servers up there, and so on. And all of a sudden, uh, I couldn't get on. And I call them. I say I can't get on. And they go, Oh, well, we changed the way you get on. You have to put in your IP address. I went. You mean I don't put in alexbennett.com any longer? No, you got to put in your IP address. I said, Don't you think it would have been nice if you had called me? And by the way, we changed your IP address. That was the other part of it. He said, wouldn't it be nice if you had written me or called me or put out a memo to this extent, you know? Oh, well, we're sorry, you know. So then I went through the whole problem of, oh, they, were, they, they weren't getting the signal out, so the on-demand wasn't working. It was just, it was a mess. So finally, I get part of it cleared up yesterday, and I, I finally figured out how to use the IP address in the stuff that I do to put stuff up and online. But there were some problems today I still had, and I called him. And the first guy I got, he couldn't understand what I was saying. He couldn't understand English. Now, I'm calling a company that runs out of Canada, and these guys definitely weren't Canadians. Mm. You know, they, Speak of French. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, and, and I, uh, finally, I, I, I hung up on one of them, the first one. And I, then I recalled back up, and it was the same guy. <laughs> so, so I said, can I, can I talk to somebody who speaks English better than you do? I don't think that's insulting. I think that it's a, it's a clarion call to him to learn his, the language a little better, okay? And he goes, okay, I'll turn, you, I'll, I'll, I'll turn you over to another one of our, our people. And I get put on hold with the with the music again. And then the, the, the guy, and nobody comes. He hung, he hangs up on me. So I call back, and I finally get another person who, again, was somewhat English impaired, but not as bad as the rest of them. I could understand him. Yes, Jeff. My wife's grandmother used to say, "Speak United States." And speak United States. Do you speak United States? Yeah. I don't know where they got these guys. I mean, is is uh, is Myanmar now doing? You know, I just keep telling them to repeat support. themselves. No, I mean no, but I mean it's maddening because I'm trying to solve a problem. I've got a problem that's distressing me, and you're only distressing me more by not speaking English. Well, they want to teach you to use online chat. Oh, or, oh, really? Oh, that yeah. one's really good. I I hate doing the online chat thing, you know. Although I yeah, did get especially some, when they don't get it. One day yeah. I did get something solved by it, 
I tried yeah. it, and I, I because it was easier to. I think it was like on GoDaddy because with GoDaddy, here's the problem with GoDaddy, and we use GoDaddy as our for our internet stuff. And uh, the trouble with GoDaddy is, is you call them up and they say, okay, what's your problem? And I go, and, and they pick up pretty quickly. And it makes you feel good. And what's your problem? And you tell them your problem. And they go, uh, yeah, and let me check and see if that's the problem. Oh, yes, there is a problem. Okay, I'm going to have to turn you over to uh, 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 hosting support. I went, well, where the fuck am I now? And, and so they send you over to hosting support. Now you're waiting on line with, and by the way, GoDaddy has this piece of music they play, and it, they're famous for it. Go online, go to YouTube, type in GoDaddy on hold music, and they, there will be a recording of it for you to hear. And it's the worst, and it's over and over. It's like it drills into your brain, and it kind of carves out a, a big uh, GoDaddy in your brain somewhere. It's you know. a small world after all. No, yeah. no, no, it's worse than that. It's worse than that. Anyway, so, uh, and finally you get the guy at, at hosting support, and he goes, well, let me check and see if that's the problem. And he says, yeah, it looks like you got a problem. Well, listen, I'm going to have to take this higher up. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to take this higher uh, oh. up. This happens every time. I'm gonna take this higher up. Stay on the line. I said, can I maybe hang up and you can call me back when you've talked? Those people have solved the problem. No, we'll stop working on it if you hang up. <laughs> now, there's some reason why this is this is the case that they can't hang up on you because then you lose your place. So I have to stay on line while some moron in the rest of the company is trying to determine how they're going to solve the problem. And then they get back to me and they go, well, they're going to go working on it now. You can hang up. But it's like that in all the queues, uh, because probably in the level that you're at, uh, if you hang up, then they automatically get another call. Yes. But I don't and... give a shit. They should figure out a way around that so that they can say to you, okay, we have your thing noted. Here's your ticket number. We will pass this on to our higher ups and we'll get it taken care of for you. Well, when right. you sign up for premium service, no, I'm no, sure there do is that. no premium service here. <laughs> this, I have the service, you know, I pay them enough money every year. I pay them many hundreds of dollars a year. So, you know, between the, the uh, Gabnet uh, uh, email address and all of that, yeah, I gotta, you know, they, they make a little bit. I mean, I'm not their biggest customer. But, uh, you know, that, that's a company that relies on a lot of small customers. But all I'm saying is, come on, folks, you're making millions of dollars. Why can't you do something about customer support? Why is it? <clears throat> why can't any? Why are you sending me off to some foreign country I never heard of in my life? You know, uh, that's, uh, you know, having a turf war or something. And, 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 uh, you know. Next thing I know, they're going to do technical support in Venezuela. In the know? early 80s, when you needed technical support, I had a program, I think it was called WordStar. Yeah. Oh, and, you, you uh, got If you call, oh, 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 they, yeah. they were wonderful. Oh, in the early days, they were all down in Silicon Valley, and a lot of people or made a Sam living. Rafael. I knew people who were in technical support, and they made a good living off of it. Right. And then all of a sudden, one day, these companies went, well, you know, it's cheaper if we off you know off-site this to uh to india the philippines or yeah. wherever and all those guys are doing is reading a little faq uh, thing yeah. about what 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 can work and what doesn't work and if this happens that might be what the problem how to solve the problem and I, i'm i'm hmm? sure in the early days it was the same thing except they had somebody that would stick with you and work with you until it was fixed yeah but i mean they also spoke english they were also techies yeah. you know uh, everyone I ever knew worked in tech support were techies. They only used to tell me one thing, RTFM, uh, you know, to this day. What's that? Read the fucking manual. Yeah, read the fucking manual. <laughs> the, the fact is, no, but the fact is they, they you know, I, I, they really did a, um, a bang-up job in those days, and now it's just, and, I'm, and I don't think I'm talking, this isn't tech talk, folks, because I'm sure all of you have gone through this where you've had to call a company. I mean, uh, here in New York, uh, if something goes wrong with my cable, uh, I dread having to talk to Fios because they just really don't want to talk to you. You know, 
Verizon doesn't want to talk to you. They'd rather you, you know, talk to them in chat or whatever. And it, 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 you could wait. I waited one time. I waited for an hour to get somebody at Fios. Now that that's as a customer that that's unreasonable, you know. And so I'm sure you all have that same problem. Yeah, I spoke with Apple today. Yeah. And they were good. I just yeah, go on to Apple. I yeah. schedule a phone call. They call me back in 15 minutes. Yeah. They work with you as long as you need to work, and then it's done. They are good. Mm. And and I was talking to a guy in Pennsylvania. We are joking yeah. about the weather the whole time. Yeah, well, uh, uh, Apple is very good. I've had to deal with yeah. Apple on a couple of occasions. Uh, you don't have to call them that often, but when you do, they're they're right there. Yeah, they they were right there fast, and the the guy was uh, somewhere in America. <laughs> Although the worst thing that ever happened to me is I'm one day I'm having I was just having great problems when I was downtown with my uh, with my um, uh, cable service, right? And uh, because it was uh, always the picture was always breaking up, always breaking up, always breaking up. But I know what it is. It was water in the line somewhere, but. Uh, what they had was a policy that unless four people from the apartment building complained, they weren't going to go look at it. Yeah. Right? Should have called and them back three more times. Finally, I'm just... <laughs> Said, hey, I'm in 407. <laughs> uh, finally, I got somebody at the company, I can't remember how, who finally got a hold of me and said, we'll do something about it. It seems like you've really oh. been in anguish for the last couple of months. This is how I learned about torrents on online. That at least my internet was working and I could download all the TV shows I wanted to watch without it having glitching all the time, right? Uh, which was illegal, but Jesus, you know, I'm trying to buy the service. Anyway. It's not the same cable line. At that... one point, I'm, I'm yelling. And, it's, it's a time when I got to yell and scream and uh, this, uh, this person's talking to me and obviously does not sound like they're in the United States. And I said, so what country am I talking to? And she said, Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> I was That's in, in Indonesia, isn't it? It's in, it's in <laughs> Indonesia, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that really bothered me. That bothered me a great deal. I, I felt embarrassed, embarrassed. <laughs> well, so what do you think about Trump? Uh, we haven't really talked about uh, Trumpy boy. By the way, do you notice what's in back of me? Uh, your doll? Yeah, Trumpy Bear. There's oh. Trump, Trumpy Bear. Wearing a Cidic, uh, a Cidic t-shirt that Marjorie had. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, 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 Trump was at his wall today, which it turns out isn't his wall. Yeah, what he a shit He repaired it. Huh? Uh, his, his thing repaired it. I guess it was originally started under Obama. Yes. And, uh, you know, Trump just doesn't want to leave stuff in disrepair. Oh, it's I It's called see. infrastructure. Yeah, but no, but he went down there to act like he was building it. This is what we're doing about the wall. It well, was already there. they some of it there. and they built some of it. It was, no, they didn't. They didn't. They did nothing but repair it. And I think they put a Trump plaque on lied. it. With they put it on there with Trump's name. Wow. What yeah, did you, what did you say, Jeff? And people died. died. Jeff, what did you say? Trump lies oh really let's say he just <laughs> embellishes on the truth okay it was all obama money it was all obama money yep and he went down there and was taking kind of credit for it wasn't he of course well, yep you got a nice little sign up there and he it, took all his uh, credit for it <laughs> that he's going to build another 200 miles on it uh, yeah. yeah, I think he says it'll be 400 miles. Uh -huh. uh, probably 400, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, and when when's that supposed to be finished? Uh, Tomorrow. Uh, before the end of his second term. <laughs> oh, really? Before the end of his second term. <laughs> right. I, uh, I just want to live long enough to see that wall finished. Hey, you know? uh, I don't think you will, but uh, <laughs> hey, didn't they say that uh, seven, 70, there's a 70% chance... Uh, Tony faxed it to me, so I, I, I'm not sure it's real, but a <laughs> 70% uh, chance that uh, Trump will be reelected. Who says that? 
Tony. I haven't seen it. <laughs> That's Tony. Tony, and Tony is the empirical word on on that sort of thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, he he got it. Oh, I, I'd say there's a there's a good chance Trump is going to be reelected. Yeah, I think America's yeah. that stupid. Nah, I, I think that America's stupid. that stupid. It, I, it's 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 only you fringe guys. That you know that have been conned by the Russians. That uh, didn't think I just that give you the good good. news that I thought he'd probably be reelected? Yeah. You know yeah. I can't imagine it. I can't imagine that the way in which he's acted and comported himself and all of that would get this man reelected. I yeah, mean, there was another article that said uh, I think it was in uh, Drudge that uh, they think he wants to lose. Let me see if I can find it. He wants to lose. We thought wants he wanted. To to, I think yeah. he wanted to lose the last one. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe that works for him. <laughs> you know. It's his strategy. I, I mean, I don't think he was planning on winning. No, no. Yeah, I think he was more surprised than Hillary. He, oh, yeah, yeah. Although I think Hillary. I don't think Hillary was surprised though. But sto story has it that Hillary actually pretty much got the word that uh, everything that they were pro prognosticating privately was that yeah. Trump would win. So she was, you know, she was kind of ready for it. But the media outlets had Hillary winning in a landslide, you know. Well. Uh, right up to the last minute. You know what they were doing? I think they were looking at the popular vote, okay? I think they were looking yeah. at what would be the popular vote and then figuring if you if, if everything were right, then the Electoral College will well, float that they, way. They constantly were going over to a board with elector Electoral College uh, things, and they said, if it's this state and this state, uh, Hillary will win by this. If it's this state and that state, Hillary will win by that. You, you, you know how they touch the board? And uh, well, where did the board... They were coming up with the calculations. Where, where, where did he... Where did he where did, on what part of the board did he touch it? <laughs> Uh, in, in the in the Me Too part, in the Me Too part, yeah, yeah, uh, but um, on uh, the doll. <laughs> uh, let's see what here. Was looking for Charles Kuralt had a second family with a house. Oh, this was earlier when I was talking about Charles Kuralt. Prior to his death in 1997, a search for an a skit on YouTube named Norm McDonald's Charles Kuralt was portrayed as a swinging philanderer. Yeah, he kind of was. Mm. Uh, he was on the road, and he was on the road. Or he was. Yeah. Uh, it was Fox News, Tucker Carlson, wonders aloud whether Trump actually wants to lose in 2020. So. Well, yeah. uh, what do you think? Um, I, he had a better life before this. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm, I'm not so sure he wants to win. Yeah. I mean, I'm not so sure that isn't his strategy. You know, before when we would have five people, that would be fine. We wouldn't feel bad about that. But now it, you notice it more with this. You have six with you. No, but I mean, if, 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 okay, if we had six, five people like we have now, it would look just fine. But now it mm -hmm. looks like something's missing. Maybe I should missing. go. Maybe I should go back to the old way of doing things. I don't know. Yeah, there, oh, there's yeah. nothing missing. But I can't go back. I've got to use this new Skype, which well, is just... just build one more template for five. That's all. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Because I, where would I, I, <laughs> this is the template for five. I mean, what am I going to do? Well, you space it out How so that... How do you space it so that five works? You put you in the middle, uh, two yeah, at the top. Yeah, four corners. Yeah, and <laughs> use, the, use the corners. Good suggestion. Uh -huh. Yeah, nah, nah, that's too much trouble. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I like it. It's fine this way. Uh, and, you know, if nobody else wants to call, where where's Charlene been, for instance, as an example? Where's uh, uh, she? Uh, she calls uh, Jack. We haven't heard from Ray, and we haven't heard from Bree, and we haven't heard. Who else did I think about the other day that we haven't heard from in a while? Huh? Uh, well, who? Yeah. Richard Rich. Johansson, yeah, and Richard's out there, I know, because he, I see him online. Uh, and we haven't heard from John. Uh, so, Richard, give us a call. What? what? What's your friend that likes beer? John Rockwell. We he, haven't heard from him. He died. I know. <laughs> but we haven't heard. That's not funny, Phil. Oh, come on. God yes, knows. I've lost too many people lately. 
you know? Yeah. I mean, I lost, I lost John, and I lost, I just lost my lawyer. Um, you know, um, he'll, now, pro- he'll probably you, bill me from beyond the grave. But what? When you heard the lawyer died, yeah, did you get a bill? <laughs> I heard it from another lawyer. <laughs> I'll send you a bill. <laughs> uh, really nice guy by the name of Harris Tabak. But, um, um, uh, you know, I, uh, yeah, yeah, it would be nice if you sent me a bill from beyond the grave. I would, I would feel that was a, you know. But would you pay it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Checks in the mail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, he was a good lawyer. Did you say you voted for him? Who? My lawyer? Who? Who told me the other day? That was Tom. Huh? Uh, Tom said he voted. Tom Yamaguchi. Tom, yeah. yeah. Because I he, didn't it, know your lawyer ran for well, anything. Well, in uh, in Alameda, I think he he ran for district attorney. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I used to live in Alameda, but uh, yeah. I don't think I. You know, the way they do the ballots, there's like so many people on it, and then you got to vote for three, and uh, you don't really know who you're voting for. Uh, yeah. because of the way they do this, uh, that ballot system. I know Tom was saying he liked it, but, uh, you know, I, I want five people. I want to pick, I want this guy. And if this guy gets the most votes, mm-hmm. uh, you know, he becomes president. Okay. On the eve of his 80th birthday, Francis yeah. Ford Coppola is ready to embark on one of his dream projects. He plans to direct Megalopolis, a sprawling film as ambitious as Apocalypse Now that he's been plotting for many years. Uh, They report that uh, Coppola revealed the plan on Wednesday. He has his script and he has begun speaking informally to potential stars. I've heard Jude Law's name among those who might potentially be in the movie. Uh, Fleming, Mike Fleming of Deadline. Uh, says that he viewed some of the second unit fo- uh, footage for the project in Cannes a year ago and reports the film is set in New York and is an architect's attempt to create a utopia in the city combated by the mayor. Well, this doesn't sound exciting, does Sounds it? Sounds like Batman. <laughs> Fleming quotes Coppola saying, So yes, I plan this year to begin my longstanding ambition to make a major work utilizing all I have learned in my long career beginning at the age of 16 doing theater, and it will be an epic on a grand scale, and I've called it Megalopolis. It is unusual. It will be a production on a grand scale with a large cast. It makes use of my years of trying films in different styles and types, culminating in what I think is my own voice and aspiration. It's not within the mainstream of what's being produced now, but I'm intending and wishing and, in fact, encouraged to begin production this year. You know where he can get it made? Philippines. No, Netflix. Yeah. You know, Netflix would, would pay pay the freight on something like this. Uh, it says You, you know uh, why Apocalypse Now costs so He much also has a make? recent project called Apocalypse Now Final Cut. So once again, he's going back to the vault and taking out all the dribs and drabs of Apocalypse Now. You, you know why it costs so much money to make Apocalypse Now? It was because of the sto- uh, the uh, the monsoons that they were having in the Philippines when they were when they were filming it there. Mm. Uh, I had a girlfriend that was a nurse on set, and uh, in the Philippines. Yeah, but they also had other problems too. There was uh, there was uh, some uh, uh, uprisings in the Philippines, and so the helicopters, which were lent to him by the Philippine uh, uh, Air Force government. Uh, mm-hmm. and government, uh, some of them had to be recalled right in the middle of shooting a scene. You wow. know, so wow. he had that problem. He had one problem after another. That thing. That thing made him a very sick human being. In fact, if you saw the difference between Francis Ford Coppola when he started that project and the way mm-hmm. he looked when it was finished, he lost something like 50 pounds. Wow. You know, uh, it, it, it drove him crazy. There's a great film that was done by Eleanor Coppola. She shot kind of like home movies of the making of the film. Yeah. And it's called, uh, uh, well, what's it called? Um Apocalypse Now Final Cut? No, 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 no. <laughs> it, it was the name of the uh, of the uh, the book uh, that uh, that it was taken from, and mm. it it shows him literally going crazy. I mean, he he's losing it in this thing. I'll never get this thing finished. I mean, you know, and then Brando, that fuck. 
He hires him, and Brando just sits there mulling over the script for days. And he's only got him for like 15 days or something. And he's going, well, what, what should I do with this scene? What I should... <laughs> you know, and then uh, all, the, all, all the script and everything had to be on cards on the, on the ceiling and on the walls. So when you would look at Brando, he'd be like going, well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, the horror, the horror. You know, the uh, uh, yeah. So I mean, it was it was it was a it was an amazingly difficult. Oh, the set, the jungle set got blown yeah. down because of the monsoon. They had to rebuild right. it. Yeah, I know. It, uh, I think it was like three months delay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I said, my girlfriend worked on that set. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Patrick has his hand up. Yeah, the only thing I'll say about Brando's performance with having to read on the ceiling and that. It added to the whole drug culture that he was in as the, uh, what, you know, the Buddha character that he was. So it kind of, yeah, you know, very well with um, Wow. I can't, I've heard nightmares about him on set and just dealing with him. And I, I couldn't imagine hiring him because of the headaches. Well, you know, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing that makes him a real prick, is that he came in, stalled Coppola, was very irresponsible about just the way his working procedure on the film that was driving him nuts because he was eating up time, time that could be used in actually filming, and literally not respecting Coppola, a man who really gave him back his career with The Godfather. You know, mm -hmm. so you would have thought the guy would have been a little more loyal to Coppola than to try and kind of hold him up when he was there, and you know, he wanted a little more money for this, a little more money for that, and you know, yes. Oh, I I thought the Island of Doctor Moreau was his uh, revival of his fucking career. Oh yeah, that one was terrific. <laughs> uh, I watched that and I went, "What the fuck is he doing?" You know, I always found that at the very least that Brando was an interesting actor because yep. he would make acting choices that were, were, you know, kind of interesting. He did a thing called Missouri Breaks in which he played a, uh, a bounty hunter. And he, had a, he, he played it where he had a bad tooth uh, uh, that was hurting him all the time. So throughout the whole film, he's like tapping his... You know, I mean, a little business like that, and you go, that, that's, that's some good acting because he's really creating the fullness of a character. But, Was man, also when you go, saw Dr. Moreau, you went, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> you know, he's taking a fucking paycheck. Wow. Was he also the one that sent the, uh, the uh, Indian that occupied Alcatraz to get his Academy Award? No, not, no, but he did send an uh, Indian to get his Academy uh, Award. Oh. Yeah, he never showed. What did he win it for? Was it Godfather? No. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Last Tango in Paris? I don't, can't remember which film he won the Academy Award for. Uh, but he won Academy Award, and it was Sash Shasheen Little Littlefeather yeah. was her name. Yeah. Gee, how do I remember that? I can't remember my wife's name, but I can remember Sashin <laughs> Littlefeather. Uh, He's but, big in our town because he was on the Wild One, and that's that. that was oh based yeah, in Hollister. Town here, yeah. Yeah. Was it filmed in Hollister? Yeah. 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 It was about. Uh, well, Hollister it was, was about. The it was about or, the uh, yeah. the motorcycle gang here. Yeah. Yeah. And and, uh, the, and Johnny's bar. He's he's painted on the side of the. Uh, the wall here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a big thing here. About yeah. you know that was every year they the have booze, the booze celebrate fighters. That yeah, in Hollister. Uh, but you know, I mean, Brett, um, it, it, Brando made some good choices. He did a thing called Bedtime Story, which is a comedy with David Niven that was later made into Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. And if you ever watch it as a comedian, he was terrific. He was just terrific. Turned in a tour de force performance. But you know, anyway, I hear that. Oh. There goes the theme. Ah, uh, yes. Well, we only finished up with five people tonight, which in the normal circumstances we would have gone, hey, a nice, nice, nice a bunch of people. Uh, but because there's that one little place missing, it's like I'm lo missing a tooth. Bree is right. You put up a thing that says, call now, call now. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Well, Bree, 
He's call now, call now, okay? <laughs> anyway, well, that would have done it. Hey, yeah. listen, it, uh, we finished off another week here. I managed to get through it with that and and solved all the fires that I had to put out for this thing. I just like one week where suddenly nothing goes wrong, but you know, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Hey, thank you very much, Phil, up there in the left-hand corner. Uh, Jeff, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Kevin. And Patrick, always a pleasure to have you uh, uh, there. Uh, Why don't you give a big wave goodbye to everybody, and I'll give you a big wave back, okay? Bye-bye, okay? There they go, folks. Wait a minute. I I guess I got to do that. It didn't work when I pushed the button. Anyway, that's it for tonight. That's our citizen panel. And they're going away, and I'm hanging up on them. And uh, I'm going to take us offline and make us invisible. And so the next show, which is the intersection with uh, Jack Bishop, can be here. And then uh, we'll be off for the weekend. We'll be back again next week, uh, starting at 9.30 with The Exchange and Damian Chaplin, followed by moi at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, uh, tell her I love her, okay? All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice weekend.